morning and welcome to the brand new video as you can see it's dark outside and I'm saying morning well because it's not even 6 a.m. in the morning guys we're starting this video a little bit different it's kind of cold so I look like a mess I apologize for that it's 5 50 a.m. having my coffee uh, editing the video recently I've been kind of stuck it's some kind of routine let's just say back to back the same things and it started to be bothering me in the sense that i know exactly how my day is gonna look like i know how the thing is gonna look like how the full day of eating is gonna look like etc etc but that said macros didn't change we are three weeks out so you know i'm trying to find that put myself kind of in a I'm comfortable maybe positions and something like that which is totally opposite it's not comfortable uncomfortable at all I actually enjoy this piece so I decided to have a new routine uh, yesterday was the first time I did this the only difference was I was reading the book here and now I'm editing the video finishing the video that you watched previously yeah this is now part of kind of my, my routine in the evening as well I go downstairs and edit the video I just like to be outside lately, especially on this prep, alone, in a piece, and uh, yeah, I mean, five in the morning, that's why people love it, because you're in advantage already. But anyways, in this today's video, what I'm going to show is episode five, I think, already, right? Road to Olympia. Uh, we have adjustments with the macros and everything, so I'm probably going to show you full day of eating, what I'm eating, maybe not talking as much in the video because I want maybe one at least to have shorter but I'm um, probably gonna walk you through the whole meals and everything uh, even though we didn't have adjustments we're still eating a lot of food maybe tell you a little bit more about the plants we are exactly three weeks out so whoever is new sub like share I'm gonna finish my video and then start slowly doing my routine uh, we have a cardio fasted in the morning and then breakfast and then probably gonna take a little nap because we do have a photo shoot for Young LA as well today, so it's gonna be a long day, but uh, sit back, relax, as I am right now, and I'll catch you when we're done over here. I usually tend to make this meal before my cardio even, fasted, so after waking up, I'm drinking my coffee and I'm making this instantly. And I just want, even though I'm showing you guys a million times how I make my high volume uh, oatmeal, you're still asking the same questions. So I'll show you, I guess, right now, just to see for you guys how actually simple that is so first things first is gonna roll on the screen what you need to do uh, fill whatever little bowl with the water just a little bit and then I add uh, plain gelatin inside that's the first thing you gotta do because gelatin needs to soak in for at least like five minutes so while you're making the oatmeal it's gonna be done uh, so leave that on the side and then we start with the making oatmeal so first things first in a big bigger bowl I uh, put stevia inside and a salt. I didn't show you that. So now, next step that we're gonna have, how many grams of oats you have. We have uh, 80 grams of oats, 80 to a dot. So then you put your oatmeal, right? I will go first with the dry ingredients, to be honest. And then, because this is gonna be a kind of a pumpkin uh, oatmeal, we're gonna add a uh, pumpkin spice inside just like that we also gonna add you can't go without it like on the prep and stuff like that I've been using cinnamon a lot to be honest with everything so I'm also gonna put some cinnamon as well inside now what we're gonna do is you don't have to do that but mix the dry ingredients now since I have a uh, egg whites actually instead of a uh, protein powder I'm actually putting the egg whites because you can't taste them and it makes it kind of even more cakey. So I have a 200 grams of an egg whites, which I'm putting in the oatmeal. Just like that. And then I'm sponsored by Skinny Syrups. We have a million flavors. As you can see, there is so many flavors on Skinny Syrups and you can choose whatever one you want. I'm literally mixing in this bowl whatever I feel that day. So today I'm feeling, as I already said, pumpkin. And we do have a, this pumpkin pecan waffle. So what I do, I add that as well inside. And there is a zero sugar inside zero sodium absolutely nothing this doesn't add anything inside and now the last step is to put a water and i usually put 
like in on 80 grams of oats I usually put around almost 500 milliliters or 500 milliliters of water because we have a we have that gelatin that's gonna soak all of that up I even measured the water just because I know how the consistency is gonna be and that's it basically now we just stir it around there's nothing to add on there's there's stir next step put in a microwave but since it's so much water I first put it and it depends on your microwave but I'll put first one I'll put for like four and a half minutes actually quite a bit and then I'm gonna mix it around and like put minute and a half mix around put minute and a half until oatmeal is getting kind of like thicker right uh, I'm gonna show you after the last one spin then we are adding the last move we are adding the gelatin I'm gonna show you that and then we still have a peanut butter to add but I'm gonna show you the next step so right now around four and a half minutes the microwave is the only that's the longest part microwave takes like a couple of times probably overall 10 minutes but it's definitely worth it to do it you leave it in the fridge and you come in the evening with a great meal already prepared so I'll show you the rest okay guys so you gotta keep an eye on it because it gets fluffy but this was already like and as you can see consistency is already um, way thicker so now when you put that I, I run, ran it like a couple of times because egg whites also need to cook inside so now we have this that we left as you can see it's firm so now what we're gonna do is last step you just mix a little bit around put that gelatin that you left in a bowl now consistency is gonna get guys more liquidy just because the gelatin is melting and it's basically straight water in the gelatin there is nothing else so now you're gonna think like you ruined the oatmeal because it's extremely kind of watery right now but once you put it in the fridge and leave it for a whole day it's gonna end up being like a cake so now we mix it around properly all the way for that gelatin to dissolve fully and then one more time in the microwave I put it one last time for around two minutes again keep an eye on it once it started like raising it's basically done then the last step I just add a uh, 24 grams of a peanut butter inside this is optional for you guys I have on my menu 24 grams of a natural crunchy peanut butter crunchy is crucial because you can feel those things inside a little peanuts and gives a better structure so it's not a plain oatmeal since we don't have a protein powder of anything like that 24 and now I mix that peanut butter inside fully to dissolve there's the consistency so it's kind of watery now what I do last step is before I go to, the, to do my cardio I put it in the freezer uh, I do I have my 30 minutes of a card in the morning so I approximately leave it for like 45 minutes in the freezer because it's steamy hot come back and then don't forget to put it in a normal fridge leave it for at least three to four hours in the fridge and it's gonna be cakey and Olden is gonna be in the evening ready for you or for a lunch whatever you want if you do it in the morning so that was the whole recipe see you later Alright guys, right after the cardio <clears throat> and pre my first meal, I know you wonder, I just finished the cardio, I know you wonder where I'm taking supplement wise, but it's just the essential things that I like to use. I'm self-conscious when it comes to health, that's for sure, and I'm trying to be as healthy as possible. Most of these things you don't actually need if your diet is on point, but when you're on a prep, your diet is not structured mostly. My diet has been the same for 20 weeks and obviously I do not get... Uh, every single micronutrient and vitamin uh, from my food so that's why i'm using some of the things so i'm gonna walk it through vitamin d3 essential thing for everyone i will say uh you should definitely take that non-lifter or lifter magnesium i like to take it in the morning i like to take it before the evening to relax vitamin c as well really important especially nowadays i went sick and stuff like that uh, we have a potassium to balance out sodium and potassium we have a thyroid complex uh, had a slight thyroid problem that's why I'm still taking even though everything is okay uh, probiotics 
in the morning I'm taking those fish oils with every single meal uh, this is what I take in the morning turmeric uh, also I put in my eggs turmeric as well anti-inflammation stuff like that pretty important when you're on a prep multivitamin and then we have a glucose optimizer when my when I get like hunger issues and stuff like that I, I like to take that because it balances out and the last thing we have a digestive enzymes now most of those things I use from ghost I didn't order my apologies I'm gonna drink this with the greens from ghost and then prepare my breakfast out I love the way it will look uh, by raising our macros we actually look better and better which was obviously the goal depletion phase and then we're gonna slowly grow into the show and cardio up now we talk about see that's what I was saying I can immediately see when you executed whole week 100% that's the plan for this week so uh, have a blessed week enjoy and uh, check with me next one currently 1 p.m. got stuck in a routine it started to be extremely repetitive what the bodybuilding is but it started to be mentally exhausting because every single day doing the same things is just not so comfortable right but that's part of the process being consistent and everything but you still need to have some fun in between so basically ate the meal and then took a little nap the first meal of the day I'll, I'll tell you what it is and then uh, basically it was work since the morning because Monday is always the busiest day Monday is my usual check-in day where I have the most clients and then to the rest of the week I spread it out a little bit but Monday is the busiest one editing the videos and everything and now is the time to prepare the pre-workout meal which I already kind of prepared I'm just gonna show you and in today's video basically in this episode uh, today was as I said is a Monday so we have a new check-ins we are when you watch this video three weeks out so every week I'm gonna give you an update so for this week, I'll uh, run it right now on the screen, what Alex told me. What's up, brother? So first things first, as always, I appreciate you getting me over your check-in. I do hope all is well. Now, I'll keep this one short, sweet, and straight to the point, but I'm very happy with your progressions and your visuals, man. I did not want to see weight continuously go down. So what I did want to see is exactly what we're seeing, stabilization and an increase of just about one point or one pound. That's where I was aiming for. Um, so right now we're going to keep macros the same. You're eating 300 grams of carbs, 60 grams of fat, 283 grams of protein, right? So we're in a really good position. I want that protein to be higher, keep you a little bit fuller, but now we're in a position here where we're really going to start to aim for depletion starting next week at two weeks out because again our focus is bringing you in fuller right we don't need to bring you in necessarily tighter but i think that fullness is also going to have you look tighter um very similar to what happened to aaron banks yesterday right he just was not full and he had no pop to his physique but now we're in a position where we're going to be able to feed you going into the show or at least how longer into the show have a depletion prior fill you up more money all right so again i understand you got a lot going on in the on the outside world brother I, I i i can attest to it for myself i know this shit is not easy but i want you to understand man like we got a lot of good going for us both of us uh you have the show coming up right i'm so excited for the board short company man the the excitement that people got just from you actually reposting it's like people forgot about it like it, it's insane um and again all of this stuff is right in front of us so let's seize it man all right, all of it. These next few weeks, embrace the suck, embrace the, the mental stress that comes with this prep. Because trust me, there's gonna be a time when you're off prep and you're gonna actually wish that you feel the way that you feel now, or at least look the way that you feel now. But again, foot on the gas, keep doing what you're doing, lean on me, bro. If you need me, if you just need a friend, you know I got you, I fucking love you. Yeah, we are pretty happy where we at, even though I had, couple of days this week where I was really waking up watery. Uh, I was waking up 199 and current weight this morning was 
194, I think. So I was waking up five pounds heavier all like two, three days in a row. Uh, a little bit bloated. Not sure about the reason, but uh, now we are back. Normally, I think it's more stress and everything. So uh, actually, we're in a good spot. We're eating a lot of food right now. And uh, the plan is basically to stay consistent with everything. So we have uh, exactly the same food as the last week, uh, this whole week. And then from uh, next week, two weeks out, we're going to start slowly depleting. Uh, that's going to be a kind of a struggle. Uh, and then already, guys, I'm heading eight days out to Tampa, Florida. Uh, Olympia is in Orlando. So we're going to be eight days with my coach, with Alex Toplin, which, is, which gives me so much more security. And uh, I'm way more relaxed. I can't wait to go there because everything is going to be controlled. Everything is going to be under surveillance of him. And I know we're going to bring the way better package. We're going to start a carb up uh, sooner. He can check everything out. So we're going to bring the best possible package in Mr. Olympia. And whatever happens, is going to happen. Uh, plan A was never to win a pro card in Olympia. Plan A was experience. Stepping on the Olympia stage, experience all of that. Soak that in, reflect. Uh, stand there with the bigger and better guys, see where we're at, basically get a judge's feedback if we don't get a pro card. And if we get a pro card, plan is to get a judge, uh, feedback of our judges because there's the best judges in the world and that was the whole plan and point of this show. And then if we win a pro card, uh, set up the plan for our first uh, pro show, probably before the summer already. And if we don't win a pro card, exactly the same thing, set a plan work harder, uh, develop the muscle groups that we need to develop and try to attempt a pro card again uh, starting from somewhere from end of the April and just runs, run the shows back to back until we get a pro card. But with that said, uh, the first meal that we have this morning, uh, it's going to be rolling on the screen. I'm going to tell you right now, we're going to have, we, get, we had 300 grams of potatoes. We had a 300 milli milliliters of uh, egg whites. We had a two whole eggs. We have a two slices of uh, toast and we had a uh, 50 grams of a spinach so pretty nice meal one of my favorite meals right now especially coming from a cardio after i'm tired exhausted and everything uh pretty pretty decent and solid meal even though i get hungry really fast now it's 1 p.m and we are about to eat the second meal so the calories and macros for the first meal are gonna be listed on the screen uh now i'm finishing uh, a little bit of a work and uh, I'm showing you immediately the next meal that we're gonna have. Also, by the way, just yesterday, guys picked up a new iPhone. It's gonna be on screen how it looks like. Pretty satisfied with that. The most convenient thing is I got the one terabyte, so now we finally have a lot of memory. And if I need to film, if I don't have a camera, if I need to film something, the quality of the camera is exactly really good, so I can fill the gaps in between. So yeah, I just wanted to give you an update how everything goes. Uh, today in the gym, I'm gonna give you a, a physique update where we at right now. I'm about 195, 194 pounds right now. Uh, we are hoping to step on stage around the same weight, 195 but way uh, leaner and fuller than we are right now. Uh, so yeah, gonna walk you through, show you the next meal. Alrighty guys, the meal is prepared actually even faster than I thought because your boy is out of the, me uh, the uh, Megafit rice. Uh, didn't see that, so we are ordering right now a new batch. Shut up. Megafit code is gonna be here if you wanna use it. For a discount, it's the biggest clutch ever. But um, we do have some rice. I'm gonna tell you what we're supposed to have. We're supposed to have 300 grams of a cooked jasmine rice, seven ounces of a cooked uh, chicken breast, uh, 100 grams of uh, shredded lettuce, 70 grams of avocado. Fats and proteins are higher throughout this reverse after the show diet. And we're gonna lower down the carbs, deplete our body. And then we're gonna lower down the protein and fats and higher the, the carbs, which I'm gonna show you. But since we didn't have, I only had 120 grams of our rice left, I just put in a rice cooker to cook a new one. We need to have a 300 grams, exactly 120 grams of our rice and a seven rice cakes is gonna be uh, equal to the amount that we want right now. So that's what I'm gonna eat. So the calories and macros for this meal are gonna be listed on the screen, which is also gonna be my pre-workout meal. Um, diving into this, indulging, preparing my stuff. Today is a heavy bag day. Uh, I'm not sure if I wanna film it or not because I'm pretty tired today. My mood is maybe not there, but if I do, obviously I'm gonna be showing you. So uh, yeah, 
eating my meal. I love this meal, I love all of my meals and uh, let's go to the gym crush another day. Already sipping my pre-workout, heading to the gym. Today is a heavy back day and I don't feel so good today. Mentally, I don't feel so good. Energy is low, I, need, I feel like I need an, another nap, but we're gonna push through. So with that said, if I film something, maybe I'm just gonna film the top sets or something like that. It's a heavy back day, so I really wanna focus. When I'm filming, that focus kind of goes away and it's really difficult for me to dial in again, but we'll see. And besides that, last two videos were full workout, so you know I don't have to show you that. Long story short, first thing that we had right now, we already drink that was, if you watched my previous video, Powerade mixed with a one scoop of a pump, which gives us amazing pump because Powerade, sodium, etc. Uh, pump nitric oxide opens the blood vessels and everything, so pump is there if you're not fully depleted, but I'm not right now, I'm okay. Uh, in a hydro jug, we have a hydration from Ghost and stuff like that. Also, in a hydro jug, I put just because of the flavor size from Ghost, which is creatine. And then in this, what I'm gonna right now, I already started drinking on the way to the gym. Today, we have a this concoction, and it's a Legend All Out Sour Patch Strawberry Lemonade and a Gamer, which is around 300 milligrams of caffeine all together. Not so bad today. A little bit extra, but Legend All Out is 400 milligrams, so I'm still avoiding that high, high amount. No tropics from a gamer. Code Dorian for 20% off with the Ghost, my favorite company. I absolutely love the flavors and everything. Saves my day. And uh, yeah, we are heading to the gym right now. I'll catch you probably there. Maybe even film how the gym looks like because it's almost done right now. So I'll see how that goes. I totally forgot, guys. Uh, I actually have a Young LA photo shoot right now before the workout. So we're gonna hit the workout right after the the photo shoot. So that's a busy day today as well. So I'm gonna show you that, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, when you like. guys just wrap up the workout absolutely exhausted but uh here how it went if you can see our 45 minutes 1200 calories to be honest i pushed myself i felt like absolute crap i still feel like a crap but um i pushed myself i punished myself in the way i went with a really high weight today the workout was actually really good and i hope i'm gonna come home and just eat my meals and like pass out but actually workout was really good I just didn't have a chance to film anything because uh, there are workers in the gym uh, their working was very loud uh, second thing everyone was in the gym it was impossible to film so I filmed something with my phone which I probably missed because I just pressed my phone on the on the machine so I didn't even use the tripod so I don't know if you could see the physique or no but uh, I'll update you with everything. I'm just trying to keep you updated as much as I can. This week I'm gonna film another video, so you're gonna see everything. And uh, yeah, that was it for the workout. I'm driving back home to show you a post-workout meal and uh, catch you in a couple of seconds. Back in action, just got home, didn't shower or anything, heated up my mega fit meals. 250 grams of a cooked jasmine rice with a little bit of GQ's. Uh, sweet chili, five calories or something. Six ounces of a cooked chicken breast with a 50 grams of a lettuce. Calories and macros gonna be on the screen. That's my poster cow meal and like hour and a half after I immediately have a next meal. As I said, if you watch my videos, then it's pretty boring, but I'm just trying to record. Not a lot of things is changing. That's why the mental part is such a struggle. The only job that you have is finish your cardio and finish your work and nothing else matters until the show is done, right? So, we are almost there, three and a half weeks out. I'm gonna enjoy my meal as every, and uh, yeah, I'll uh, catch you on uh, four last meal of the day. been hour and a half since the last meal uh, we showered and uh, 
Now what I'm gonna do, just watch one YouTube video while I'm enjoying my four last meal. And then probably I'm gonna head back to the roof of the building and uh, finish editing my video. Kind of like to be outside right now. Makes me calm, I'm like chilling, no one's around me. So uh, I have my own piece, headphones and enjoying, as I already said, finding things to do. But before this gets cold, you know my favorite meal. Six ounces of a cooked 93.7 mega fit beef, 85 grams of asparagus, and we have a beautiful, my favorite, I absolutely adore these mega fit potatoes from air fryer, 250 grams. Calories and macros gonna be on the screen. Also with that, I allow myself until two weeks out, we still have our sweeteners and everything from two weeks out, we're gonna start discluding this kind of thing, sauces and everything, and start using salt packets only per meal, but until then, I allow myself one of those per day because I do drink like one to two energy drinks with that as well. Enjoying this meal, head out to the roof. I'm just gonna chill there and work. And then we have a one last meal of the day, which I'm gonna show you, explain you one couple of more things around this prep for Olympia, show you the calories and markers for the full day and uh, wrap this up. So see you in a bit. <music> And all right guys, time has arrived, 8.30 p.m. Lately, since the last show, I've been definitely going to bed earlier and I've been waking up earlier. I'm in the bed sleeping around 10 and I'm waking up around five, which is not so bad. I am not sleeping like fully 100% how it's supposed to be. I'm waking up all the time, but it's still kind of in the bed being seven hours, not bad for a prep at all. And considering that we are on a prep of 20 something weeks, I'm gonna have my last meal and there was absolutely nothing to show you because I showed you already the recipe this morning so the meal was ready and besides that I just needed to go something to pick up came back home clutch mega fit meals arrived everything for the whole week ready also when I'm going in Orlando for my peak week I'm shipping two boxes of my peak week food there they are shipping my boxes so shout out to mega fit meals I absolutely have no words to describe how much I appreciate that company, how much it helped me throughout this prep and everything. I don't even know why people are even cooking anymore, especially with the companies like Megafit Meals. Absolutely delicious. And if you consider time uh, for picking up the groceries, gas, cooking the food, it's definitely cheaper. For uh, 16 meals per week, you can get that with a discount code, my discount code, probably for like 200 bucks, which is absolutely crazy. Uh, some of those meals are even bigger, so you can eat twice. Customize your own meals. Their meals are delicious, so I don't know what you're doing, but with that said, we have a last meal of the day that I showed you already, but... So, basically made it in the morning, you saw how it looks like, and now the only thing that I needed to do was literally to cut the strawberries and mix the blueberries. What we do supposed to have on this meal, you saw it in the morning, but we have a 80 grams of an oatmeal, we have a 200 grams of egg whites inside, 100 grams of a strawberries, 80 grams of a blueberries, 24 grams of a peanut butter. It's a cake. You can literally cut it. What I put, why it's so shiny, uh, I actually put a little bit of uh, Walden Farms, Parms, Walden Farms syrup, and a little bit of salt, and that's how I eat it. I top it here and there with a the cinnamon and salt. That's basically, it tastes delicious. Whatever skinny syrup you use, that's how it's gonna taste so I love it and it's a huge bowl guys I don't know if you can see compared to my head but it's a huge ass bowl there is like a couple of a couple of pounds I'll let you know right now if you wonder so eating this on the prep that's how much this weight so four and a half pounds uh, oatmeal it does guys I am going to restroom throughout the night a lot because of that oatmeal and I don't regret it to be honest because it fills me up but uh it's basically just the water it's basically just the water, so calories and macros gonna be listed on the screen just for you guys to see. There's not high in the calories considering the volume. Like if you make normal oatmeal like that, it would probably be at least like 1500 calories. I digest that really fast, I'm actually waking up extremely hungry. So that's gonna be my last meal guys of the day for today. Calories and macros for the whole day. I'm gonna be listed on the screen, as I said, we're eating a lot of food. It's not bad at all, that part is 
totally not bad. I'm not complaining about the food. It's just the mental part. It is tough, I'm not gonna lie. I can't pretend I'm a freaking machine. I have a lot of things going on. Starting the business, I'm working a lot since I moved in LA. Even on this prep that I'm not showing you, I'm working every single day shooting, uh, working for other companies, telling my online coaching, prepping, stuff like that. There's a lot of things that I am kind of like putting on a hold. I'm still doing it, but I'm doing it 50%, which I don't like, where I can actually progress and develop. It's worth it however you turn. It's worth it however you turn. It learns your discipline. With that said, we don't complain. 20 more days to go, guys, to step on that Olympia stage. So I appreciate support first and foremost, seriously, and because of the people that supported me, I genuinely do want to get that pro card and, uh, you know, prove you right. So thank you guys. I love you guys. Like, share, subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you very soon, episode six. So like two days maybe. Love you guys. Peace out.